Okay, my friends, right there in the far distance, you can see the Independence Monument at Manahadullah Gardens here in the center of Yangon in Myanmar. Right behind me is the beautiful building of the city hall. And here, every night, there's a setup of the food stalls and, and of the eateries. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go through this area of Yangon and see what's happening here and experience local life. It gets very, very busy and very crowded here as the night progresses. Very rarely you will see any tourists here. These are local markets and local food stalls and eateries. Very graphic at the same time. You can see one of the food stalls here. What's happening here is he's uh, cutting pork, put them on different pieces of pork in uh, sticks and people will grab a stick and eat it and then he charges them according, according to how many sticks they, uh, they have eaten. One stick will cost you around 20 cents. You can see the same arrangement over here. Let's bypass it very quickly because of the noise. And another one here. This is uh, rice and noodles that you see here. For those of you that have been to Thailand, Bangkok, this is uh, the same arrangement. See the different foods here. You see prawn and a lot of fried foods. As I said, it gets very, very busy later on. I want to show you how it feels to be here. Here is a Buddhist nun with a pink outfit. Let's go through here. Here's another eatery, people enjoying food. You can see a lot of local people. Here's another one. If you want to eat, you just grab a chair and start ordering and eating. Drinks, cold drinks, including uh, cold water. Hello. Experienced the local life in Yangon, Myanmar. Of course, I have no idea what most of these uh, foods are. Tables for eating. As I said, in about an hour, this place will be absolutely packed. That's why I selected the videotape now. This is where the food gets cooked at, right here. You see people eating right there. You see the ladies uh, dressed with the local outfits. Very pretty outfits. Fruits, noodles and rice. The Burmese people eat a lot of rice and noodles. Let's continue our walk. See the lady preparing the food right there. 
Drinks. That's the entrance to the uh, gardens. I'm not really sure what this looks like porridge of some sort. Here's another eatery where you just pick, pick sticks with meat at the end. And another one over here. It's all pork. They eat a lot of pork here in Myanmar. Vegetables. What an incredible uh, sight, isn't it? In case you have not traveled around the world, it gives you a very good idea what one experiences when traveling extensively around this beautiful planet. Very, very friendly people, by the way, extremely friendly people. These, uh, okay, that's uh, fried vegetables. We're approaching the end. The night eateries of the center of Yangon in Myanmar. Absolutely incredible. Incredible scenes. Here's another one with the uh, sticks again. Very, very popular. But you're not going to see any tourists eating here. It runs for about 200 meters. Here's a Buddhist nun here. These machines that you see here to my right, they uh, squish bamboo and the locals drink the uh, juice. The whole city is full of dogs, stray dogs. Here's one of them. There must be millions of them on the streets, neglected. And the good thing about the dogs is they do not attack tourists, not like the Pacific Ocean. The pet experiences that we had in the Pacific Ocean. Here's the very end of the street. What do you think? Incredible scenes. Absolutely incredible scenes. I want to show you the local life. I want you to feel and experience how it is to be here walking next to me in the faraway city of Yangon in Myanmar. Very few tourists venture to this country. Most of them prefer to go to Thailand next door, and that's a shame. This is Vic. Bye bye.